are back with Katie and Cor Pilates and we've had a lot of fun talking. You know, sometimes we talk fun and light and, and mm -hmm. all that kind of, today's sort of more uh, down and dirty, yeah. if you will, a little yeah. deeper, yeah. literally. Yeah. And one of the things that, that I think is really interesting is, because I work with an aging population, and I am an aging population. <laughs> we all are, well, every day. <laughs> well, and I, and I think when I was younger, I wanted I wanted to look good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I still want to look good. Mm -hmm. But more importantly now, it's about health and wellness and sort of this overarching feeling of mm -hmm. that. And mm -hmm. again, during the break is when we have all our good know, stuff, right? sorry. <laughs> but you, yeah, exactly. Well, no, we're gonna bring you in on yeah, that, there obviously. Because it's really important. Yes. Because one of the things you were saying is that's the focus that you ha all have a lot now, mm -hmm. where it's not just about a flat ab or a tight hiney. It's, yeah. it's I mean, Big stuff. If that is your main goal mm -hmm. with a fitness level that you want to achieve, we got that. Yeah, for we got you. that. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what lights me up and what lights a lot of our other trainers up is that um, getting down and dirty and curious and why are they in pain? Mm -hmm. Why do they feel overwhelmed? Why do they feel tired? Why mm -hmm. do they why does this medication react this way with the other medication? Exactly. We just why, when I play tennis and I feel like I'm fit, am I still a little unstable? Mm -hmm. What's that all about? Exactly. So we would get in here and we would ask you that question and we would be doing movement on the mm -hmm. reformer while you were doing that. But I'd say, well, what's going on in that knee? Oh, that was something that happened when I was six years old. And I say, okay, well, <laughs> we, need to, we need to realign that and create more of a balance posture. Do you ever listen to someone and they say, this is tight, this is not, and I and I know you're not a diagnostician. No. But can you ever say, you know what, <coughs> pardon me, I'm choking on my own. <laughs> I have so many questions. But do you ever uh, advise people, look, I think this is something you might want to go to your physician on. Oh, 100%. I, I'm very... Cognizant well known and that. cognizant, and I am not a doctor. I'd love to go to med school someday, but mm -hmm. um, you've always loved that, exactly. Yeah, but no, there's a very appropriate time where you need to go mm -hmm. talk to somebody. But I'm going to ask you some questions, and I might give you a list to ask your doctor when you go in. Is why is this happening? Why, 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 why? Because well, my son's a, a radiologist, and he was funny when we were talking about. Um, MRIs and this and that, and he said his go-to is always the opposite. It's like stretch your leg, get your quad in mm -hmm. shape, do mm -hmm. this, mm -hmm. do that, yes. and um, as a way to protect your health and wellness. Yes. Yeah. So it makes so much sense. It makes much so much sense. sense. You have to move in order to feel good in your own body. Yeah. No matter what age. No matter what age. All Absolutely. Right. <laughs>